sweep the leg. Ah! What is happening good people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're back here in Car Simulator 2021 episode number 10, a pinnacle episode for the series here at Route 66 Auto. And in between the last episode and this episode, I did go to the junkyard, made a run, made us a couple bucks, and we are almost at $100,000. I tell you what, business is booming here. And in the last episode, in case you missed it, we built this beautiful paint shop here. We took on a customer car from a kid who had basically stolen a car from his father, messed it all up, we fixed it, we painted it, put some crazy parts on it and gave it back to him. I'm not sure if he's still alive. I think his father really whooped his ass. But look, we're not asking any questions and we're certainly not judging here at Route 66 Auto. Also in the last episode, we did go to the junkyard. We made some money, we reached level 14 and we got a really cool perk. And that perk is up here and it's called Good Judgment. It gives us the ability to inspect the value of a car before we purchase it, which is gonna help us out in the junkyard. I tell you what, let's test it out in this episode. But first, I think one of the most exciting things we could do now that we have almost $100,000 is we are gonna go to a barn. Let's see if we can find something really cool to bring back and restore. Oh yeah, here it is, it's a barn. And already off the bat, looking over to the left, we got this cool little hot rod. I don't even know what this is. Boy, this is part of the DLC content. That is very, very cool. Let's take a closer look at this. It's a Smith & Parker, Arizona kid. And that is a pretty awesome looking car. It's got a supercharged V8 in it, which is pretty cool. We can swap it out if we wanted to. And actually the outside looks to be in good shape here. Got a lot of good pieces on it. And if you take a look here, that new perk gives us the estimated car value, which is $25,000. Now the buy price is $30,800. So we're gonna be in the hole about 50, 5,600 bucks, something like that. And that's what you gotta expect here with these barn finds. You really gotta restore them in order to make money off of them. But that is an awesome car. And let's take a, uh, a walk around this barn and see if we can't find anything else. We're also gonna look in these uh, little junk piles. Uh, same as the junkyard. We're gonna find stuff that we can fix. We're gonna take some body panels, stuff like that. We can take them back to the shop, fix them, flip them around for some money. But let's try and find another car here. We got our flashlight, it's dark, it's scary. There's probably big old wolf spiders in here gonna jump out and try and kill us. Ah! Oh, here's a car hiding back here. This looks to be like a Civic. And let's take a closer look, it's missing a wheel. It is, it's a 92 Civic. It's got an inline four dual overhead cam in there. Well, we can swap it out, it'd be a fun build. Taking a look, the estimated car value, 10,936. We could buy it for 12,000, so it'd probably be about two grand in the hole on that one. But uh, that would be a pretty easy fix for us. And the engine looks like it's in pretty good shape there. All right, so that is an option. Nothing else over on this side. Oh, and check this out. This looks like some sort of old Chevy, maybe a Bel Air, something like that. Taking a look, it's called a Delray Custom. 1957, this thing is awesome. It's got a big old V8 in it. Also, we can swap some uh, engines in there. There's lots of choices there. And it looks to be in pretty good shape on the outside as well. And uh, some unknown parts. Taking a look here, estimated value 31,769. And that's pretty equal to the buy price. Tell you what, we wouldn't be that much in the hole for this. I mean, the interior's looking pretty good. Outside's looking pretty good. I mean, we could fix this thing up, make a good chunk of change there. All right, we're gonna keep looking though. Nothing in this little area. And then we come back down and we're back here. All right, so it looks like we got three cars to choose from. We got the hot rod thing, we got the Honda Civic, and we got the uh, the 1957, it looks like a 1950 something Chevy. So I am not sure, we gotta pick one of these. We're gonna pick one and we're gonna take it back to the shop and we're gonna completely restore it. The question is, do we spend 30,000 on this old Chevy or do we buy this Honda Civic for like 10 grand? I tell you what we're gonna do, we are gonna get 
into this old Chevy here. We're gonna go ahead and buy this from the barn. It's gonna be 31,000. We're gonna take it back to the shop, put it in the garage, and there it's gonna be waiting for us. And uh, I'm gonna go through some of these piles, pick up some junk so that we can uh, fix it up, sell it for some cash. All right, I tell you what, we've gone through all the junk piles and while I was going through the junk piles, I really couldn't stop thinking about this cool little Civic. So I have got an absolutely crazy idea. We are gonna buy the Civic as well. I mean, it's only $12,000. Let's go ahead and buy it. We can fix up two cars. So let's go ahead and purchase this one, put it back in the garage. That is awesome. And let's head on back to the garage and take a closer look at them. All right, I picked up about $3,000 in parts. We're gonna take these back, fix them all up, sell them for some cash. I right, tell you what, taking a look at the inventory and all the stuff that we just brought back, I noticed we have a case here. Let's go ahead and open this. Opening cases and crates, always exciting. Oh, we got a bonus barn location map. That is awesome. And we got 557 credits. There we go, barn location map. Let's go ahead and add it to our map. And that is awesome. All right, let's hit these repair tables and make all the repairs to the pieces and parts that we brought in. All oh, right, off the bat, we got a fail. Oh boy, hopefully we can do better than that with some of these other bits and pieces. All right, finished up all those pieces. Now on to the body parts. All right, we're done all the body pieces and parts too. Let's go ahead and sell all of these things off. Now the other option is, you know, if you have plenty of money and you don't need the funds, you can take these pieces of body panels and mirrors and stuff like that and you can put them in your warehouse and stock them. And that way when you bring cars in, instead of buying new parts, if they need them, you can just pull right from your warehouse. And you can do the same thing with all these wheels you see. You can fix up wheels and stock them in your warehouse. They can get a bit pricey. But uh, I tend to find that um, it takes a long time to get a complete set of four wheels. So I'm just going to sell everything that we got in here, turn it into cash. All right, we do have another crate here. Let's go ahead and open this one, see what good things we can find. Just going to pick two random cards here. We got some bonus salvage stuff. Oh, and another barn location map. That's awesome. Let's go ahead down to this barn location map and add it to our map. And now we have one more crate to open. Let's go ahead and open this crate. All right, picking two random cards. There's some experience and another crate. All right, here we go again with these crates. Let's keep opening them. All right, bonus credits and a bonus salvage. Okay. All right, there we go. We're up to $59,000. When we came back from the barn, I think we had around 50. So $9,000 just in parts and pieces. And it only cost us about 3,000 to bring them back. So good profit to be made there in the junkyard and the barns looking through piles of crap. All right, here is our two cars. These are our project cars and this is pretty cool. We got to pick one to work on and I am going to pick this Civic because it looks like it needs the least amount of work. So same thing as when you're flipping the car. Let's go ahead and examine it. We'll wash it. We'll use the welder and then we'll put it up on the lift and uh, kind of go over it with a fine tooth comb and build it up to a 100% car. We're gonna make sure every single part and piece on this thing is at 100% and let's see how much money we can make on this thing. All right, done examining the car. Let's go ahead and put it in the car wash. This thing looks like it is a cream sickle color. Not a bad color for a little Civic like this. I don't know what color we're gonna end up painting it. Wow, that's a really pretty color. We might leave it this orange color. Not bad. All right, let's do a little quick interior wash. It's not necessary, but we want to do it. I mean, this is a really cool orange color. Some black wheels on this thing. It would look pretty sweet. All right, let's move the car onto the lift. All right, there it is. It's here up on lift number two, and it is missing some wheels. So we're gonna to have to buy some wheels for this thing. It's actually missing three wheels, so we don't have to use these stock wheels. We can go ahead and use any kind of wheel that we want. Let's get this uh, engine crane over here, because we are gonna take this engine out. Probably just gonna replace it with the stock engine that these Civics have. All right, before we restore this thing, take a look at how much money we have. 59,568 credits, and that is gonna be the number to watch when we are all done with this. 
I wonder how much money we're gonna make. All right, manifold cover and exhaust manifold have to come off first. Wow, lots of screws on this one. And there's nothing wrong with a lot of screwing. Just saying. All right, I feel like we should drain out the oil and all that stuff. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't want to get charged any extra money for spilling oil all over our face. All right, there we go. Oil's coming out. Not much in there. Okay. All right, putting that thing back. Now let's lower the car down and get that engine out. And we're going to try and attack this car in a few different sections. Here we go. Pull out the engine. The engine crane. First remove the gearbox. Okay, son of a bitch. Where is the gearbox? There's the gearbox. All right, in order to take the gearbox off, we got to take the starter off. And of course, we got to put the car back down. Oh my God, this is really annoying. What are we doing? We're running around like a chicken with our head cut off. And nobody wants to see that. All right, there's the starter. Take the starter off. There we go. That thing's going to need to be replaced anyway. Now we put the car back up. Let's get the gearbox off. Then we can get the engine out. And here we go. Let's unscrew it. All right, gearbox is off. Put the car back down. All right, bam, the engine is gone. All right, so coming in here, we got the engine stand. Let's go ahead and put this engine on the stand. There it is. Wow, that is a rusty hunk of crap. Uh, I guess the plan here is to go into this engine, take it completely apart, strip it down to bare bones, and then we are going to uh, try and repair any of the pieces that we can repair. And then we will build it from the ground up with all new parts and pieces or using the parts and pieces that we fixed. All right, so I'm going to disassemble this thing, taking out the ignition coils, getting in to the pistons, spark plugs. I mean, all the good stuff. And this is pretty exciting. There we go, the invisible engine, it's all gone. Now let's get to a repair table and try and repair all of the pieces we can. All right, there it is. All of the pieces have been repaired. We didn't have any fails in that little session and that is awesome. All right, let's start putting this thing back together. Starting with the engine block, which we did repair. There it is. Look at that fresh new engine block. Boy, this is exciting. Wow, how cool is that? The engine is completely done. 
which is absolutely awesome. All right, we're gonna leave the engine there for now and let's go back over to the car and we are gonna get in and rip this front suspension apart. We're gonna take it down to the stubs and the nubs. The stubs and the nubs. All right, same thing here. Everything that comes off, we are gonna try and repair. And whatever we can't repair, we're just gonna buy uh, new parts. All right, there we go, disassembly mode. Don't forget to take these little stupid rubber bushings out. Uh-oh, a stuck nut, moving up. All right, now we're over this side. You know the brake discs too, we can try and use our brake lathe thing. See if we can't repair those things. And if not, we'll just buy new ones. I mean, right now, we still have $53,000 that we're working with, and that's after redoing the engine. But being able to restore all of these parts and pieces really does help save some money. All right, outer tie rod and a stuck nut. Now the inner tie rod. Now we can take off the front steering knuckle. All right, now we can get in here. I think we're gonna have to lift the car up to take the steering rack off and this last piece of suspension. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, underneath the car, it looks like we can take the cross member off. We can take the steering rack off, and then I think this is a front sway bar. And that is it. Nothing left for us to take off. The front suspension is completely torn apart. And let's go ahead back over to the garage expansion. Let's go to the repair table and see what we can do. All right, all done. Not that many pieces we could repair. Let's see about these brake discs. Oh man, too bad. The brake discs were too far gone. Not gonna be able to save them. We're gonna have to buy new pieces and that's fine. All right, here we go, putting everything back together, starting with the front cross member. Right, here's something interesting. We took apart the shock absorber, which has a spring and a cap on it. We gotta come over to this little machine called the spring puller, and we have to separate those parts. And let the machine do the work, and when it's done, you can take off the parts. Now those parts cannot be repaired. If we come in here to the repair table, they cannot be repaired, there's no parts there. So you actually have to buy a whole new front shock absorber system. So front shock absorber A, front spring, all the stuff is in your inventory. You can add it to your shopping list like I'm doing. And there should be some sort of cap somewhere. There it is, front shock absorber cap. And you're just gonna go into your tablet and you're gonna buy these things. As a matter of fact, we're gonna buy two of each because we're gonna need one for the other side. All right, once those pieces are bought, you gotta go back to the spring puller. Now you gotta join the new parts together to make the uh, shock absorbers for the front. And there's one. Let's go ahead and put the other one together. And there we go, there's number two. So we are good to put those back in. This side of the front suspension is also done. That is awesome. All right, the rear suspension. We gotta do the same exact thing with that, starting with taking off this rim. We're gonna have to figure out what kind of rims are we gonna buy for our cool restore 
Honda Civic. All right, all the suspension pieces are gone from the rear. We still got some uh, the fuel tank and the exhaust stuff. We'll worry about that later. And same process. Whoa, I don't know where the hell I'm going. We are going to go over to the repair table. Let's fix up these parts, see what we can salvage, and put it back together. All right, here we go, finishing up, and it was very successful. Lots of parts came off of that rear suspension that I was able to fix, so not really going to have to spend a whole lot of money in here. Alright, first things first, the cross member, put that back in. Now we're going to fill in these rubber bushings, because if we don't do it now, we're going to forget. Oh, and we forgot to use the brake lathe on the uh, brake discs for the back here. So let's go ahead and put these on. Oh, here we go, 26%. We can go ahead and repair this. We don't have to buy a new one. We're gonna do that for both the brake discs in the back. And then once we lay these two brake discs, we're gonna go back and put the whole rear thing back together. Woo, this is exciting. All right, brakes have been laid there now at 100%. We're going to put these things back on here. Finishing up this side, putting the brakes on, brake calipers, brake pads, and all of the suspension work is done, and everything is looking good in here. And we're going to go underneath the car, we're going to do all of the exhaust work, then the fuel tank, and then we're going to get into the engine compartment and do that as well. And that's pretty exciting. All right, so I'm going to go underneath the car now, rip out all of the exhaust stuff, and then uh, we're going to check the engine compartment, get that all situated, put the engine back in, and we are well on our way of getting this car fully restored. All right, rear muffler and the fuel tank are coming out. And we got this middle muffler here that we can take out. Now we can replace all of these parts too with some good performance parts. And let's go ahead into the repair shop hit up a repair table and see if we can't fix any of those pieces. Nope, we can't. Okay, well, that answers that question. All right, so we're gonna need all new parts here. Gonna need a new middle muffler, exhaust pipe, need a new fuel tank, and we are gonna need a new rear muffler. All right, going into the performance parts section, we can actually buy all of the exhaust stuff and make them performance parts. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And it's gonna give this little Honda some extra pep in its step. All right, rear muffler going on, a little performance rear muffler. And we got this exhaust pipe. Let's go ahead and put that on. We got a middle muffler. And last but not least, the catalytic converter. All right, there we go. All right, got a new fuel tank going in. Let's go ahead and do that. And one of the things that we're gonna need right up on top here, a new fuel pump. All right, the new fuel pump can come from the tuned up section. There is a performance fuel pump, go figure. All right, fuel pump going back in, there we go. 
nice and pretty. All right, putting the car down, we're gonna get into this engine compartment and see what we need to uh, replace or put in there. All right, lots of stuff in here. We gotta take the radiator out, take the fuse box out. We gotta put all the coolant and all the containers back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll see you in just a minute. All right, I think everything in the engine bay has been fixed and replaced. Battery, all the, the little containers for the fluids. We got the fuse boxes, the air intake. We put a cool uh, sporty air filter in there to give it a little extra pep in the step. Brand new battery and this engine is ready to go back in. And that is pretty cool. All right, so what we gotta do, we gotta go back into this room. We gotta grab the engine and we gotta bring it in to the car. So we'll go to this engine stand. Let's take the engine off and, uh, and we're carrying it. I mean, we're like Hercules here at Route 66 Auto. And let's go ahead and put this engine into the car and take a look. All the pieces are 100%. It's a 100% engine going in here. And let's get this engine crane the hell out of the way. Get out of here. All right, so the new engine is in there. Everything in the engine bay is looking good. We're gonna fill it up with fluids. Uh, one thing we gotta do, we gotta finish putting together the front suspension. Just a couple things to tidy the car up and then uh, we are gonna be good to go. We gotta pick out some wheels and tires. Pretty exciting stuff here. I'm gonna get into this front suspension and I'm gonna to put together the rest of the little missing pieces and bits and bobs. We've also got this ECU type A unit. We gotta buy that. Let's go ahead and take care of that right now in the electronics section. There it is, ECU type A. Let's go ahead and put that in here. And we actually have to lift up the car to put the gearbox back on. Up, up and away. All right, here is the gearbox. And we are putting that thing back on, screw it in. We gotta fit on the uh, front exhaust pipes and then uh, front drive shaft, which we don't have the parts. So we're gonna have to buy that. All right, front exhaust section, we're buying the performance version of that. And here is our front drive shaft. We're gonna buy that. And let's put these pieces back in here. There we go, there's one and there is two. And now we just gotta put the front drive axles back on. And we are gonna have to buy those as well. So let's just buy two of those and we can plop those right in place here. All right, here's the second one going into place. Let's go ahead and screw that in. And we gotta put the car back down. We gotta make sure that we get the starter back in because you can't start the car without a starter. All right, new starter is on. We forgot to put the exhaust manifold back on this thing. So let's go ahead and do that while we're here. And the exhaust manifold cover's gotta go back on. So this engine is ready to go. All right, let's fill up these fluids. Windshield washer fluid, power steering fluid, coolant and brake fluid. All right, all the fluids are filled up. Now we gotta start taking some of these body panel pieces off and uh, let's see what we can fix and what we have to replace. So I'm gonna strip this car down, go into the repair table. We're gonna come back, put it all together. All right, all the bits and bobs are repaired and fixed. 
We're gonna have to put all new glass in this thing and headlights and taillights too. Okay, let's go ahead and put the doors and fenders back on because we're gonna go into the special body shop and try and put on a custom hood and custom bumpers. All right, here's the custom shop. The only thing custom we can buy is the front bumper, which we're gonna do, the hood, which we're gonna do, the rear bumper, and then the uh, left, right headlights. We're gonna just put these cool looking ones in there instead of the original ones and also the tail lights. All right, while we're in here, we gotta buy all new glass, the door glass, body glass has to be bought along with the trunk window and the windshield. All right, let's put this car back together. All right, here it is. All the body panels are back on the car. The glass is in. We got new stuff going on. We're gonna have to do some license plates and uh, gotta figure out what color we want the car. And then we've gotta find out what wheels and tires we want to put on here. And uh, i tell you what, I'm gonna come up with a couple options for wheels and tires. And uh, then I'm gonna put them on and uh, man, this car is almost done. One of the things I forgot is to put back some of the suspension work underneath the car. So I just checked and we're gonna do that right now. Whoops. Because we do not want to give an incomplete car back to a customer here at Route 66 Auto. I was just a rubber bushing rear spring and a, a cap. So we're going to go and put all this stuff back together. And that should be good for this rear suspension. All right, now when we look at the car status, the only things that we have to do are the interior and the uh, rims and tires. All right, going into the interior, we're going to rip out the seats, the steering wheel, so we can replace those. Let's go ahead and get that done now. I also came up with a wheel and tire option. And the wheel and tire option has the uh, ability to be polarizing. Some people are gonna love it, some people are gonna hate it, some people are gonna love it and hate it. And I don't even know how that's possible. All right, we're gonna buy the normal back seat, but we're gonna try and find some cool seats to put in here. Some sort of sporty kind of seat. Oh, I like these. All right, we're going with these Leather D. They look kind of sporty. Let's buy two of those, 900 bucks, wow. All right, new seats are going in. And we're gonna buy the regular steering wheel that came with the car. It's kind of boring, but boring is okay sometimes. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. All right, so the interior of the car is done. And let's put on my wheels and tires. All right, here we go, gold wheels. We got 17 inch wheels with some kind of fat sport tires on them. And I made them so they're gonna stick out from the car just a little bit. I have a wider stance here. All right, there we go. Wheels and tires are on the car. The tires look a little goofy. I think they're a little too big. Probably could have had a uh, lower profile tire on there, but look, this is our first full renovation here at Route 66 Autos. We're not gonna get it perfect. All right, let's move the car in the paint shop and pick a color. And we just have some basic colors to pick from. We don't have the advanced paint shop options yet. All right, one thing I just noticed in the paint shop, I was messing around with some different paints and I could see the imperfections. We forgot to use the welder. No! So we're gonna go ahead and use that right now. And then we'll go back into the paint shop. Whoops. All right, back in the paint shop. All right, there it is. The black metallic paint's going on. We're just gonna finish this up. We're gonna go back into the shop, tint the windows, and we are gonna sell this baby. And hopefully we can make a lot of money. Oh, we don't have the window tinter yet. It's all right, we can fix that. Let's go to the toolbox, see things we can buy. And down here for 200 bucks, it's the window tinting kit. Oh, and there it is. Well, let's go ahead and move this over to bay number two, and we can tint these windows. All right, we don't want them too dark. We don't want them too light. That looks pretty good right there. There we go, but bam am Windows are tinted. Let's put this cart back out of the way so we don't trip and fall. All right, one thing that we don't have is the dyno center and also the test center where we can adjust the headlights and stuff like this. Dyno center is $20,000, we can't afford that. And the test path is $10,000 and I don't know that we're gonna necessarily be able to afford that right now either because I do want to have some money left. But let's see how much we're going to sell this car for. As of right now, we can sell this car for $44,000. It's going to be a nice big profit. So I tell you what, we are going to go over to the toolbox. We're going to buy the test path. There we go. Test path is bought. We got $25,000 left. And we still got to put on some license plate. Let's go with uh, Delaware. It was the first state after all. 
All right, front and rear license plates going on. They're just basic license plate. I didn't customize them. So basically the game is going to fill out some numbers and stuff on there, and that's fine. There we go. License plates are on. This car is done. It's black. It's got gold wheels. Let's go ahead and move it over to the test path. All right, once in the test path, we just have to align it and make sure the headlights are straight. And then once we do that, we're going to put it on the market. We're going to get some money, and that is going to be the end of the episode. All right, it's all aligned. Let's take care of those headlights. All right, headlight alignment here. Pretty tricky. No, there we go. The game's going to tell you when the headlights are aligned. There we go. All right, and there it is. There is the Civic. We bought it at a barn. We fixed it up. We didn't do a perfect job on the wheels and tires, and that's fine. But this thing is good to go, and uh, let's go ahead and collect our money. First things first, though, you always want to take a picture. There it is. We've got a screenshot. All right, taking a look at the car stat. As you can see, it is a 100% car, all fixed up and ready to go. And we are going to collect $48,705. Wow, and it's gone just like that, and our bank account is up 73539 bucks, and we still have this nice 50s Chevy to restore, and that is going to be coming up in the next episode. And also in the next episode, I think we need to uh, start getting back into the story mission cars, and the next one up is a Bolt cargo so that is coming up in the next episode as well i know this has been a longer episode but that's fine i mean look you're still here i think if you're not you know what the hell's wrong with you but we're going to be coming back the series has hit 10 episodes now it's a, it's a milestone and thanks for all the support thanks for watching don't forget subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out hit that like button doesn't matter if you didn't like the video, you gotta hit it. It's part of the YouTube rules. And leave your comments down below. Doesn't even matter what you say, but most importantly, thank you guys for letting me be a part of your day. It means a lot. And we are gonna see you right back here in the next video.